I thought I'd share with you um, some of the techniques used by Monet in his great impressionistic paintings. Now there are a few things that brought about impressionism. There was a great change in the Victorian era and people were starting to think freely and move away from the styles that were so formal of the day. But also the invention of this, the flat ended brush. Now that means you can use so many more different marks and styles and techniques because all, up until the Victorian era all brushes were pointed and round. But um, as they invented the metal ferrule which is the bit that holds the bristles together they found out they could flatten it and therefore the bristles would go flat and you'd get a different shape of brush. Also for the first time ever tubes of paint were available up until that point, the artist would have to mix their own paint from pigments and add a binder to it. But now, they could pop the paint in the pocket, a couple of flat brushes, a canvas under their arm, and go off outside because trains were around now, so they could get anywhere in the country. Here I've just got some ultramarine paint, lemon yellow, titanium white, burnt sienna and cadmium red. And I'm just going to show you a few ideas of how Monet would have created the water lilies. Now these are acrylics but you can use oils um, as well, or poster paint really. Now, the technique that Monet used was known as TACHE, T-A-C-H-E, which is French for touch, and basically it's just touching the canvas. So if I mix up some blue, we want a pale blue, so I'm going to go in with a bit of blue here, and a bit of white, and I'm not going to mix my colours thoroughly because I want to be able to just dab the colour down and let it mix with each other so I'll get some darker areas or some lighter areas. I'll throw in a little bit of cadmium red as well just for a bit of fun just so you can see how the colours mix. Now all I'm doing is I'm using that tash word, that touch to create these slabs or rectangles of colour. Now what's brilliant is that you can just keep building it up and building it up, overlaying the colours, because the colours don't dry very quickly even with acrylics. So you've got a little bit of blending time here. So touch, touch, touch. We've got a little bit of um, reflection to add in a second but he the way he worked is his water would all be horizontal slabs then his reflection would be more vertical to make it look like it was running or reflected so you can see how you can paint quite quickly and you can cover a very large area. I mean, some of, some of Monet's canvases were several metres high and even longer. Um, so he had to have this style that would help him work with speed and accuracy. Impressionism, don't forget, is a style or technique. It's not just an easy form of painting. In fact, it's quite difficult to do. I'm adding some lemon yellow with some ultramarine, a little bit of white here, a little bit of brown. Again, not mixed thoroughly. And if I come down with my brush strokes, to create the idea of, brush it, of bushes trees that are being reflected. In, in a lot of his water lily paintings you never actually saw the land, it was just the water. So it's important for him to get the effect of moving or rippled water. Just adding a few darker strokes now. You want it to look agitated more than anything because it is wet, it is water and it is moving. I'm cutting with some of this now. 
horizontally. It's just to create that feel that there's something there that's being reflected. Now what's going to be fun is when we add the water lilies in a second. Now they're very simple. Again, it's using that brush but in a slightly different way. Probably just some of those darker parts there. So if I mix a dark green with ultramarine and lemon yellow, I can just place the brush on the side and use these slabs and drag them out slightly. Now what Mono would have done is it'd have used the brush on its side to create finer lines. He obviously used more than one brush but for ease for this example I'm using the one because it's easier for me. Now this style was known as a la prima, which means all in one go. Because the whole painting was done at one sitting, in one mo movement. So there was no um, waiting for it to dry it was just all done and finished in one sitting. And he would probably be outside for the majority of this so he could feel the atmosphere. He would get into the emotion of the painting which gives a much greater feel of drama and accuracy in terms of colour. It's very hard just to sit and imagine what a lily pad or lily pond would look like. So he just painted it. So just slabs of colour, slabs of colour, dabs. Right, if I stick a few um, lily flowers on, use my flat brush, one, two, three, four, five. And again, one, Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. A few there. So I'm using the brush and I'm just tapping the very fine point with it. If I add a little bit of red to there, it'll just give the flowers that lovely crimson or that darker pinky centre. Now impressionism is a technique to give the effect of something without giving the detail. So you don't want any detail at all. But you can see very quickly how you can build up the scene and give you that impressionism Monet style work. 